we used to know which month the rain would fall. And it was like it was a fixed timetable that in January it's going to be dry. Such a such a month, this is going to happen. And we used even to listen to birds. The birds will tell us what is going to happen. Since the month of April, we've been having floods all over, and this has affected the district in many ways. Rain has destroyed through landslides, rivers busting their banks, crops swept, houses broken down. The roads, they have completely been cut off. We are threatened by famine. The women are the ones that we have been finding, trying to grapple with putting things right here. If you look at Uganda, it's really a fascinating place. You see that they have been blessed with so much when it comes to their environmental diversity and the biodiversity. They have an aspiration to become a middle-income country. By signing and ratifying the Paris Agreement on Climate Change, the government prepared our national determined contribution, which prioritizes five key sectors where we believe it can support transformation of our economy and the livelihoods of our people, particularly with respect to meeting our target, the 22% reduction of emissions by 2030. I would like to sincerely congratulate uh, the representatives of the Ugandan government and all of you for uh, finalizing this first NDC partnership plan in Africa. It is wonderful to be the first, but it's an obligation as well. If you are the first to put together a plan, you must also remain the first in implementing it. So uh, all of our joy today is linked to uh, a hint towards future obligations. Sweden is one country that are trying to uh, support uh, initiatives focusing on uh, renewable energy and green cities. Bringing together development partners and supporting countries' objectives is extremely important. We're doing this in Uganda, we're doing this in Seychelles, we're doing it in Kenya. It's in our own interest and it's in the country's interest to harmonize our investment lending, our investment priorities, but also within a common framework. Through the Climate Change Department, which has a responsibility for overall coordination, is working very hard with all the key stakeholders, both at the level of all government ministries, departments and agencies, as well as local governments and other non-state actors, to have a coordinated approach, to have simple solutions to the problems of climate change, and emphasizing the need for government to build strong resilience against the extreme weather events that keep coming. As a country, we go through a number of challenges to respond to disasters. Since 2007, to date, natural and human-induced disasters have affected over 3.6 million people in Uganda. The farmer groups were suffering a lot of soil erosion, and the productivity of the crop was so low, especially the coffee. So we had to train the farmers on how to control soil erosion. This program has helped to boost coffee productivity here and also the crops have increased in productivity. Income has more than double. This school carried out many, many activities, among which we really consider the environment so much. We have the environment club, they carry out farming and these greens are being you know, eaten by the children themselves. So these children grow knowing how to look after the environment. We get gas out of the bio toilet and use it in our kitchen. And in so doing, we really save. Instead of buying three trucks of firewood, we buy one. We are committed to demonstrating our part of implementing concrete actions to truly walk the talk of full implementation of the Paris Agreement.